Hi folks, if you've seen some of the other videos I put up on YouTube, you'll see that this is my home setup, which comprises of the Den and Den X500 8 channel mixer, the Den HD2500 media player, and also a couple of Newmark CD decks, which are very basic, you get what you pay for at the end of the day, and also the Technics 1210s. Now, with Serato Scratch Live, which you can see on the laptop there, you run it either one of three different ways. You either run it with control vinyl on the turntables, you use it with control CDs, um, or you can run it in native MIDI control, which is what the 2500 media player does. Um, what is a control tone? Well, to show you, what I'll do is I'll show you what I use on the road if I'm doing mobile work, which is this kit over here. What do we have here is the Denon HS 5500, and with this unit you get two units in one. Uh, the left hand side is shown at the moment, that's the purple side. You push the layer, and then it will swap over to the right hand side and this is the Pioneer DGM 400 mixer um, the reason why I've gone for these two units is footprint it's small, it's easy to transport and it's a lot less hassle than trying to lug that lot around um, control signal, what is that? it's this basically it's a continuous tone of sound the SL1 box, or the SL3 box if you get the newer uh, one will listen out to the control tone and the variations on what you do on the machine. And if you look on the screen up here, what happens on the player, the control tone, affects the music. Now you can't hear the music because I'm listening to the wrong channel on the mixer, but if we reset it back to the start, pop that across, cue that up nicely, you're back to what the audience should be hearing. It all moves rather nicely. Now what I haven't told you is on the back of this particular unit I've got a small flash drive and all I've done is I've taken the control CD, I've ripped it using me Windows Media Player, I've put it on the flash drive, it's loaded on both sides of the decks which means I can now control both sides of the software from using just this one machine. So like I say for mobile DJ work you get very high quality uh, sound and it's small and it's portable. Um, Brief overview of the DNHS 5500. Um, the dump, the reverse functions work exactly the same as the 2500. You can loop using this machine uh, with both the A and the B exactly the same, and Serato will work. The hot starts won't work, but you never use it anyway. And generally, it's very impressive how it all works and how it all sets up. If you're going to use CDs, what you must must do is make sure you pick a device like this which will scratch. What you don't want to do is pick something like those. Those rely on stutter type technology and you'll get a on the control signal which will get jumping on the actual program up here. So if you're going to go the CD route with Serato, make sure you pick CD decks that 